Hello, uh, this is Sally from Little Betty. I'm going to talk you through how to get your Christmas card made into a hanging bauble like this. You can hang on your tree or wherever you want around the house. So you're going to need the baker's twine that should be with your card, some scissors and some paper glue of some kind, any, any paper glue is fine, print stick, an elastic band, you don't have to have one but it does come in useful right near the end if you can find one of those and maybe a little drink to sup as you're going along, just take 10 minutes out from all the busyness. So you could have either had one of these cards or one of these, it's two designs and you can make two baubles out of one card and two different designs, whichever card you've got. So the first thing you need to do is to cut your card into two. Just straight down the fold. Obviously no one sent me one. Got no writing in it. Hopefully near Christmas I might have one that's got writing in. Never know. Okay, so I'm gonna work with this design. And the first thing you need to do is just fold it this way. Make sure your folds are really nice and big creases in there. And then across the other way. I don't know technical names for these folds, so just have to Go with me. Okay. And the next fold, there's only 12 folds all together to make this. So it's not, it shouldn't take too long. I'm gonna do a diagonal fold right, from each corner. I'm gonna use the back of your thumbnail to make those creases nice and strong. And across this way. Some Christmassy music on in the background. I don't know if that's gonna come through just to get everyone in the mood. And I've also got a Christmassy jumper on. Luckily, you can't see the whole of it. Okay, so is everyone with me? Okay, the next fold we're gonna do is called apparently an aeroplane fold. So as if you're gonna make a paper aeroplane. So you need to try and get right into the corner up here. And this edge follows the fold down the middle. And take the other side in to meet it. Don't worry if you don't quite get the uh, the point just right because you won't see those in the end. Okay, so when you've done each corner, just unfold it again and turn around to the next one. Okay. 
the next thing we need to do is just to make it easier to wrap up if you fold this bit in there do that on each side just gonna make it easier to assemble at the end those are nice pressed down and then do the same on this side she says So, once you've done that, you should find that it quite easily pops together into the shape. So all that's left is to glue these corners together. So, I need to take my glue. And if you just do one side at a time, I'm going to just glue on the edge right up to that corner to the point and then squish it back in just press it together for a bit This is where your elastic band can come in handy because instead of you having to hold it, you just pop a band on. It'll keep it in place while it just dries a bit. I've only done one side. For now, what we need to do next is to get a piece of twine. And if you just put a knot, my hands are sticking to it. If you just put a knot in the end. Makes it a little bit easier. A bit of a tug. Just give you a jangle. Slip that off again. Okay, so one of these sides isn't stuck. They're all seem stuck. Okay. If you just pop a knot inside and then you can put the glue onto this other corner. corner like that and you hold it all together nicely while you sit back five minutes or ten or more if you want let it dry have a little drink mince pie maybe if you're feeling a bit crazy and when you're finished it should be ready to hang and you can get all the others and maybe some nice pine cones or bits of ivy, whatever you fancy, hang them up around the house. Great. Hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Bye.